Hey guys, Cube Hamster here with a new video. Just want to show that I haven't died in a tragic car accident. I'm still alive. I just haven't really had much time lately working on my thesis. Busy with work. You guys know how it is. Anyways, um, got something small in my uh, mastermind uh, game. I was using sand in the sand printer. And I just wanted to show you how I was able to basically transport sand upwards. So what happens is press the button and it ex pushes up the sand and then before the sand falls down it puts new sand below it. Um, how you do this is uh, first thing you need is you need a one tick pulse. And that's what we use this device for. Two tick, one tick, sticky piston block and then the one tick repeater. When I click the button you get a one tick pulse. And what you do is um, you have a piston, so this is on the other side. You have one piston that's pushing up the sand column upwards, and then you have another piston that pushes up pushes uh, the sand underneath, and this column is slowly decreasing. Um, you have you hook up the the one tick straight up to the the non sticky piston, and then the the one that pushes it underneath it has to have a two tick delay, and with two ticks I mean two individual one tick repeaters. So don't go doing it like that because that extends the um, the length of the pulse which we discussed in a previous video. So now I can just uh, extend the sand like this. You have to be careful with one thing though because you can you can obviously hook up this thing to a clock instead of this one tick repeater creator thingy whatever you want to call it. But um, when you do it too fast you can actually sort of destroy the sand, which is also useful, but um, yeah, it's not really what I was after here. So be careful with that, and then there's something else. This might be something I want to use in, a, I don't know, a new puzzle map or something. Um, two of those devices hooked up um, yeah, on both ends, basically, so we have this piston interacting with this piston to push this column up and this piston and this piston to push this push this piston up so now what I can do is I can go uh, left up and then right goes down and I can also go about uh, getting this one to go up so you could use this for a door or other elaborate mechanisms maybe a stair that comes from the floor or something yes yeah so it's not really a video where I show you yeah, something useful, but this is something that can be used to do something useful, or sort of. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys like this. Uh, I'm still alive, still doing stuff, and hopefully I will have a bit more time to load up some videos. Anyways, thanks for watching, and hopefully see you soon. Bye-bye!